Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the linear voltage regulator of 78 series and we'll see what are the ratings and different features of this voltage regulator with some practical experiment. So that after watching this complete video, we will get a clear idea of what are the different points you should know before using it in a circuit. Now what is a voltage regulator? A voltage regulator is a device that takes unregulated input voltage and provides a perfectly regulated constant voltage at the output. Now here these two multimeter showing input and output voltage respectively. You can see for the 5 volt regulator we are getting constant 5 volt at the output though the input is varying. For the 9 volt regulator we are getting constant 9 volt at the output and for the 15 volt we are getting constant 15 volt at the output in all these cases the output voltage remain constant regardless what happening at input now how to find the output voltage of a voltage regulator most voltage regulator begins with few letter then 78 and then they have two digit which indicate the output voltage so here i have l7805cv where the 05 indicate it's the 5 volt regulator. Next the LM7809 CV where 09 indicate that it's a 9 volt regulator. And on the right we have L7815 CV where 15 indicate it's a 15 volt regulator. Thus we can easily identify the output voltage of different regulator of 78 series from 5 volt to 24 volt by only watching the part number written on it as you can see in the screen now if you observe the pin configuration of this voltage regulator i see the leftmost pin is a input pin middle pin is a common pin and the rightmost pin is a output pin so we'll fade the input across the input and common pin and we'll get the output voltage across the output pin and common pin now let's see how this voltage regulator behave with the variable load. Now in this circuit you can see this is the input pin, this is the common pin and this is the output pin. We are giving the supply to input pin and we are getting the output voltage at the output pin. And this is a variable load which is connected across the output pin and common pin. Now I have implemented this circuit on this breadboard. You can see I have used here 12 volt regulator 7812 and these two capacitor is optional but using this will increase the stability of the output voltage as I am using a variable load at the output so I have used this capacitor now I have used a 1 microfarad capacitor at the input and 0.1 microfarad capacitor at the output while using this capacitor, the rating of the capacitor must be higher than the voltage you are using. But the capacitance value may be changed, no problem with it. Now we will vary the load at the output and observe the change in input and output voltage respectively. Now here as a load I have used this 12 volt DC motor and this 4 LED in series. And we will observe the input and output voltage in this 2 multimeter. Now let me supply the circuit. Now you can see after giving the supply input voltage is 17.8 volt and output voltage is 12 volt as this is a 12 volt regulator and no load is connected right now. Now first we will connect the DC motor at the output and we will observe the input and output voltage. Now the input voltage is 17.7. .7. Now as soon as I connect the DC motor you can see there is a change in input voltage now it's showing 16.5 but the output voltage remain constant which is 12 volt now we'll connect these four led with the circuit and we'll observe the input and output voltage now you can see after connecting this led the input voltage reduced to 16.2 from 16.5 but the output voltage remain constant which is 12 volt now we'll disconnect this led and observe what change occur in the input voltage now it's showing 16.2 after disconnecting the led it's showing 16.5 but you can see the output voltage is constant for all case now i'm disconnecting the motor with the circuit again 
the input voltage is 17.7 now with this experiment we can conclude the output voltage remain always constant though we increase or decrease the load but input voltage may change or not change now for this type of voltage regulator there are two important point one is dropout voltage another is power loss calculation or the efficiency of this IC now we'll talk about the dropout voltage of this IC in the next experiment now in this experiment we'll talk about the dropout voltage of the regulator in the data sheet you can see the minimum dropout voltage of this regulator is 2 volt it means that if you want 5 volt at the output you have to maintain input above 7 volt now if you reduce the input from the 7 volt will not get 5 volt at the output the output voltage also reduce now we will supply the circuit after giving the supply the input voltage is 16.8 and output voltage is 5 volt as I have used a 5 volt regulator and I have used this LCD as a load which is right now in on condition now we'll change the input voltage and observe the output voltage you can see as i am changing the input voltage now this is 9 volt the output voltage remain constant which is 5 volt now again this input voltage is 7.9 output voltage remain constant which is 5 volt now what will happen if i reduce the voltage from the 7 volt let's see now you can see the input voltage is 5.8 but output voltage is not constant at 5 volt it reduced to 4.3 volt so as we have discussed about the dropout voltage to maintain constant 5 volt at the output we have to maintain input voltage above 7 volt so if the input voltage is above 7 volt we will get constant 5 volt at the output in same manner if i have used this 12 volt regulator then i have to maintain the input voltage above 14 volt to get constant 12 volt at the output and for 15 volt regulator i have to maintain the input voltage above 17 volt to get constant 15 voltage at the output so we have discussed about the dropout voltage with this simple experiment now we will discuss with the efficiency of this voltage regulator IC as this is a linear voltage regulator this is not so efficient we can easily calculate the power dissipation in this IC with this formula in this equation you can see for the mode difference between input and output voltage the power dissipation or power loss will be more so it is always recommend to choose input voltage such that the difference between input and output voltage become low now suppose our input voltage is 9 volt and at the output we are getting 5 volt then we can easily calculate the power dissipation in this IC and say the current is 300 milliampere now the total power dissipation is 9 minus 5 multiplied by 300 milliampere which is 1.2 watt again if the input voltage is 12 volt if we supply the circuit from a 12 volt battery and output we are getting 5 volt for the 300 milliampere current then the power loss will be 12 minus 5 into 300 milliampere which is 2.1 watt so at this time 2.1 watt will dissipate on this IC so it is always recommend to use a heat sink with this IC so that it can operate within the normal working temperature now from the data sheet you can see the normal operating temperature of this voltage regulator IC is 0 to 125 degree centigrade so above 125 degree centigrade you have to connect a heat sink with it thus you can easily calculate the total power dissipation in this voltage regulator IC 
now we'll discuss some important rating of this voltage regulator IC you can draw maximum 1.5 ampere at the output from this IC there is another important features which is thermal overload protection if you accidentally short circuit the load at the output of the IC then as soon as the current increase from the 1.5 ampere this IC will automatically shut down itself which is internal thermal overload protection and we will also find many circuit of different application from this data sheet which I have downloaded from the Texas instrument. In this tutorial video we have discussed the different rating and different features of the voltage regulator IC of 78 series. If you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and let me know your feedback and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.